like I start kindy in 66. And there's no kindergarten in the Torres Strait before. So me and my girlfriend, we are the first ones to start at kindergarten in the Torres Strait. That's where I start there, but only five children is the first time I start. 72, that's where they sent me down to Yaraba. Mm -hmm. Then Brisbane and back to Yaraba. Bamaga, Wipa, all these Locket River and Kawanyama. Till I was traveling since 1973 to 79. That's where I started here. But this building here, it looks so different now from where I was before. Well, parents, the first teachers at home to help the children before they sent to here, to kindy. Mm -hmm. And even when they go down playing on the beach, they can counting shells and things like that. There are lots and lots of things. So walking in town and looking at different things and talk about them and even looking at colors and all sorts of things parents can do to help them. Make sure they, they can do things for themselves because they depend on their parents. Mm -hmm. And if the parents send them every day to kindergarten, and one day they will be proud of them. Um, my name is Leon Falwood. I'm a, a resident of Thursday Island. I attended this uh, kindergarten back a long time ago, back in the 80s. Mrs. Tardant was our kindergarten teacher then, uh, playing on this veranda and in the sand pit. And I did all my education on, on Thursday Island, so kindergarten, primary, secondary, and then I went to Brisbane to go to law school. So uh, looking back, looking back at um, you know, that my education, it obviously started here. And I think really, <coughs> really up until this point, I never really appreciated um, the significance of having Mrs. Tartan, who is a local um, Torres Strait Islander woman, a very proud local Torres Strait Islander woman, um, to be one of my first educators. And I, I look back, I look back. I look back now and I feel very honored and privileged um, because she did set a very strong foundation. You don't realize it as a kid, but it actually is very powerful to know that she was one of my first people that had exposed me to education. Um, and I've gone, on, I've gone on from there, obviously. Um, so I'm, I'm very proud. So I don't want to be upset, but it's, 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 it's emotional. But um, I'm very proud of uh, Mrs. Tardant, or my auntie, Auntie Wasi, um, for what she's achieved. But she didn't just teach me. I know that she, she taught a whole generation of children and that they've had the same opportunity like I have to have experienced that through a local Torres Strait Islander woman um, or here, in, here on TI. When they come to kindy, like they come to be one happy family and everybody, you know, they're sharing and caring for each other and solve problems and all these things, lots of things when they come to kindy. They learn the good things. So that's why the parents should send them every day to kindy. Teach your child the way he should go. And when he's old, he'll never depart from it. Plant a seed in the good ground and you'll bear good fruits.